Hi guys, today we're going to make a beautiful red mullet dish. The red mullet we're going to cook ceviche style and then serve with a barbecued watermelon and a lavish cream. So, let's begin. First, the barbecued watermelon. Start by cleaning one watermelon. Then cut it in big slices and transfer them on a plateau. Now season them with flaky salt and some oil. Make sure everything is covered all around. After that, heat up your barbecue till it's around 250 degrees Celsius. Then put your watermelon on the barbecue and barbecue with a nice cross pattern on both sides. Be careful, because it's super hot. Once that's done, let them cool down in your fridge. After that, portion them into the desired size and keep the trimmings for later. Now cut them in thin slices. Then transfer onto a plateau and keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the ceviche marinade. Cut two limes in half and juice them for 50 grams of juice. Then cut one lemon in half and juice it as well for 50 grams of juice. Then chop 20 grams of ginger and one piece of lemongrass. Add it to the juice together with two lime leaves, 50 grams of a dark ponzu and 4 grams of salt. Now bring this to a boil. Then turn off the heat and let it marinate for one hour. After that, pass it through a fine sieve. Then add 150 grams of the watermelon trimmings together with 10 grams of soy sauce and blend it to completely smooth. Now let it freeze for at least three hours. After that, let it defrost on a kitchen paper to clarify it. Do it in your fridge. Meanwhile, let's make the lovage tweer. First, transfer 30 grams of lovage leaves into a blender together with 150 grams of neutral oil. Now blend this till the oil is at 65 degrees Celsius. It will heat up from the friction of the blending. Once done, let it drain on a sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper. Also do this in your fridge. After that, transfer 60 grams of egg white in a blender and also add 40 grams of lovage oil, 6 grams of salt, 8 grams of sugar, and 50 grams of flour. Now blend this till smooth. Once smooth, spread it on a silicone mold. The one I'm using is for mold butters. Find a link in the description of this video. Now bake it at 150 degrees Celsius for around 8 minutes. Then gently remove it when still hot and keep them dry and covered for later. Now for the lavage cream. Transfer 8 grams of sushi vinegar in a blender together with 20 grams of egg white, 2 grams of salt, 20 grams of ice and 100 grams of the lavage oil. And let this emulsify till it's a smooth cream. Once done, transfer it into a piping bottle and keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the red mullet. First make sure you have a nice thin and super sharp knife. Then take the red mullet and use the back of your knife to remove all the scales. After that, make a small incision in the belly to open it up and remove all the intestines. Now put the mullet flat on your cutting board and insert your knife just below the head. Then twist the knife and cut the fillet off along the spine. Now cut the head off. Then turn the fish around and cut the fillet off on that side as well. Once the red mullet is filleted, remove the belly bones with your knife. Then use a bone tweezer to remove all the bones in the middle of the fillet. Especially be careful with the ones at the front. Then turn the fillet around and make super narrow cuts in the skin. Now add a drizzle of oil and season with some flaky salt. Then burn the skin for around 10 seconds of fillet. After that, directly cool them down in your fridge. Once cold, cut the fillets in half and pour your ceviche marinade in an oven dish. Put your fillets in the liquid and let them cook for 30 minutes in your fridge. Then gently take them out of the liquid and give the skin another go with the torch for an even crispier skin. Now we can start the plate. First put a couple of slices of the watermelon on the side. Put the red mullet on the other side. Season the top with some flaky salt. Then pipe the lovage cream on the watermelon and lay some salty leaves on top. I use sea aster, samphire and sea orchid. Now put the lovage crisp on top and add a tablespoon or two of the ceviche marinade. 
And now finish it off with a couple drops of the lovish oil and then it's ready to be served. Okay guys, that's it for today. The dish looks very fresh and vibrant. It's really a summer dish. Um, the red mullet, I think it's really nice because it's the, the ceviche style in combination with the blowtorch. So the skin, yeah, the skin is nice and crispy. Um, it has a lot of flavor for sure. And the ceviche, yeah, that's always a nice method of cooking, cooking fish. Yeah, that's really nice. Nicely cooked in combination with the with the watermelon, um, which is great on a barbecue. Really, trust me, try it because it's delicious. Uh, with the lovage, the lovage cream, the crispy, yeah, the crispy. It's just a fun gimmick. So, and then the ceviche broth, which is nice and fresh and sour. So this is just a summer dish. It it looks very colorful. It looks very. Um, very fresh and I'm sure the flavor will be as well. So, oh, let's just dig in. Mm. That's delicious. Mm. The red mullet is really nicely cooked. The flavor is great. The the toastiness of the of the skin from the blowtorch it's really nice in combination with the watermelon mm, over there you can you, you can taste the barbecue but it's still really fresh and it has a nice texture to it the love edge is a great like a bridge that brings the two together so really nice dish um, i hope you've enjoyed the video Please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video and subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing cooking videos. And as always, bon appetit.